I don't know if you can see, you know, he has a little bit of, on the left side, a little bit of, uh, back down, of tendency to want to roll out to the side there. Yeah. You know, just a little bit. It's not crazy. All right, so this technique is technique number um, 18. So in order to work on this, we'll, we'll employ a mobilization with movement. I like a seated heel raise because it's a good way of developing like a neural, the, the neural um, muscular pattern without having a lot of stress. Um, in order to, what's happening is as he goes this way, just bear with me, um, his calcaneal cuboid joint is not rotating around the longitude of the tussocone enough to come back into the center. All right. So we're going to facilitate that by by taking his cuboid, the, not just the dorsal end of it, but the dorsal end of it right next to the navicula and rotating it around while he does that movement. All right? <clears throat> so I will find it, which is between the, you know, the lateral malleolus and the cuboid. That's the lateral malleolus and the fifth metatarsal. That's the cuboid smack in the center, but that's the flat middle of the cuboid. We don't care about that. We want to get to the very edge, which doesn't feel that comfortable. And if you have a foot, then you'll be able to um, assess that. And then as you go up, why don't you go and do a little heel raise? I'm going to just help it move around. All right, I'm going to help it um, prone it. Go all the way to the top. Good, come back now. Let's move your foot a little back. Further. Go ahead. Go. Um, most likely, this does not feel too comfortable for most people who, who would be lacking this motion. But by the time you're done three or four, you'll start to feel that it actually starts to turn. And at that point, it will also not hurt anymore. Like right now, it feels pretty good. Right? Better. Are you, are you pushing? Um Inferiorly I'm medial. pushing medial and inferior because I'm trying to spin the cuboid. So you have to get on one end of it. You can't be in the middle of the cuboid. So that's kind of good. And then in the case, in the case, um, one of the things that might lead you to keep towing off to the lateral side is the lack of ability to go and dorsiflex over the first MP, right? So if you if you can't ask the longitudinal metatarsal joint to rotate if this joint is not going to allow you to dorsiflex. So you may also have to um, restore that, in which case we'll do the same thing. And I'm going to be on the meta metatarsal head with my finger and thumb, so I kind of hold it in a vise. And I'm going to push it back at a 45 degree angle towards the back of the foot. Go ahead. And he's not limited, but in case he were limited in MP dorsiflexion, we'll um, make sure he has that. Go to the end. Go to the end. You do it two at the same time. Oh, you could. Yeah. Like, I was the other hand, like right now, if you could turn it. No, no, no. Like with the cuboid and. Uh, uh, I don't typically do that, but okay. I guess you could if you were ambidextrous. So stand up. Go up on your tippy toes. And we'll see. You know, does does he have that ability to come back around at the end? Go up. Maybe, maybe not. He might be a little weak in certain muscles. All right, go ahead and try those, and then 